this is going to be another quick unscripted video because those are just easy to make and i feel like they let me express myself quicker and uh it's just easier and quicker to record sometimes so i'm going to be making this video on how to tell if a morty's good i'm currently on number f uh morty 476 i'll be making another update video soon but i will be using the number randomizer to click on random mortys we got 161 so 161 morty dangaria i don't know how to say it but it's basically this little plant morty i'm going to be looking at him from an overall like all his uses pit pvp non-meta pvp and raids and i don't have a best knowledge in pvp but i'll give them a good look if you look at the base stats you see they're pretty neat okay Fuck off. you look at the base stats they're pretty mediocre overall he's an epic and if you look down you notice he evolves from seedling and morty of the valley if you look he has these stats all these stats at level 7 and below, or all these uh, moves at level 10 and below. I'm not seeing anything that special. He has only two paper attacks. He's an attack buff, but he doesn't have three paper moves. So using him as for raids would be a waste of time. Poison. Poison is always good on Mortys in the pit. Because poison just gives, uh, g basically puts a timer on your enemy. 10 moves before their Morty dies. And any Morty's poison often do well overall but he has sprout overall he just doesn't look that interesting like nothing pops out as like all that good his moves are pretty mediocre but like even other mortys from around this time had better uses it looks like sprout is a more is one of the few moves that buffs the enemy you can see he has an attack buff it's weak so you need to do the six times to max out the enemy's attack which you can't do but still at least it has a hundred percent accuracy the defense is medium but as a downside of attack buff for the enemy so it could it lead to the end of him and like the only good paper moves is him like i guess i could see him being used for non-meta you'd have paper poison spit sprout and maybe like uh dinner time or something but he doesn't look that good next we're gonna look at 438 438 lamp morty this is a summer van exclusive which will be an upcoming van in the future if you're looking at him this morty evolves from candelera lamp and it involves into the decorative fireplace and hayward's site doesn't have the forward view i guess but he has a very good uh paper move hunt eight or eight ap that's pretty good inferno speed debuffs are always good in pvp he only has one he doesn't even have an attack buff so he would not be used for raids and he has one paper move so even if i did it would be useless he also has a paralyze which is only 50 percent so eh. he has no attack or defense debuffs does have an attack debuff so he can be used to buy time or just make it an opponent weaker in a uh, pvp overall uh, oh yeah spew fire looks interesting does damage and also debuffs defense i don't know if you'd want to do that maybe in specific circumstances i'm just going to look at uh, decorative fireplace because i know he gets a very interesting move bold and daring basically a 33 percent chance to buff one of these with a strong buff only five ap though so like three moves to actually like buff something once that's just some on the fly math you can totally disapprove me in the comments below but you can see this actually looks interesting for pvp you get bold and daring like burning oil inferno you get melted wax as a, your pvp combo you take a risk here maybe you get like an accuracy and a uh, speed buff so now your fireplace is almost certainly faster than any morty in the game his base stats are pretty mediocre i bet lamps around 50 to 60 don't mind that uh fire play it looks horrible because it's a hundred percent chance he's gonna hit himself oh so he's not the only one but i don't mean to press that overall i think fire play has always been an interesting one for non-meta pp now we're gonna look at is 109 104 pepperoni pizza morty he's the fully evolved version yep base stats are another mediocre you evolve him from pizza and mushroom they spawn in gf mortanic 
and uh, let's look. Gooey cheese. This move's always, isn't it? That's a decent power move, 50% chance. So it has five AP. Move, use it twice. You'll probably get it once. Accuracy is always a good one because I believe it can lower an enemy's accuracy overall by like 15%, 30%. I'm not 100% sure, but somewhere around there. Multi attack moves are always nice. In the looks of raid, he can be used as a side attack. Here's an attack buff. You can use melt, nibble, and gooey cheese. You'll probably do like around 10k to 20k damage. Not uh, not the max. Probably closer to like 14k damage during raid. So he'd probably be fine. For PvP though, you'd want this. Mouth off. Maybe uh, neutral. Probably slice and dice and an attack buff. He'd be useful in non-meta PvP, uh, PvP, but... Besides that, he doesn't look all that interesting or fun to play with. But if you're a fan of pizza, he's definitely one to look at. I'm going to look at a meta PV or a, a meta overall to show you what like an actual good, like one of the best mortars in the game. If you look, his space stats are insane, but that doesn't want, that's not all that makes him uh, incredible. Speed is 130, which is the max, is in, which is the highest speed in the game tied with pale. So pale is useless. I'll show you him after gotron regroup and it's strong attack and this is an attack buff for gotron defense buff for the enemy debuff i meant to say which means after this use it, one it's almost a confirmed one hit kill not one hit but if you use this then this it almost will ensure whoever you hit dies and if they don't a quick regeneration will give you some more health back and kill them as an 80 this has always been a really good regeneration move it gives you a lot of hp and does a lot of damage he has combustion which buffs his speed even further and the small attack buff and does a little damage it's usually it's usually useful for the speed because 130 because let's say you're fighting another gotron that's higher speed one use of combustion and you're faster than it instantly people also let's I'm trying to what's the other pvp move they use this 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 oh and that's all four pvp moves for raids like if you're using if you're going for dot damage over time you'd go combustion regeneration go team gotron and kick and as a main he does around 200k damage pretty good and gotron's one of the only mortys in the game that i know of that had been has been nerfed i'm gonna go to pale real quick but gotron used to have almost the exact same base stats as pale so if you go here he had the same attack defense and speed obviously hp was still 90 for him but outdated sight anyways he is an exclusive i made a video about buying him earlier you can also get him from uh, gf mortanic from the capsules so if you're level 30 there's a small chance when you buy a capsule he will get him but do not expect to get him it's a very small chance it's one exotic out of hundreds that you might get him anyways you as you're looking from his uh, moves, you see a lot of negatives. Back in the day, the speed buff and debuffs didn't work. So Morty's like him, 130 speed. They, that was basically just speed permanently. You can use, show his calculator, go to stats, go 100, max, just gonna put one for everything, cause yeah, 16. Fourth, two, three speed. That's almost faster than any other Morty in the game. Good luck finding one that matches that at max IVs. If you don't know what I mean, I'll put a video in the description that explains IVs. I'll also put in the description our raid guides since I'm referencing that a bit. Maybe I'll make a PvP guide sometime soon, but don't don't expect that. that's just a maybe. But if you look at him, you notice he has a lot of debuffs. He has and debuffs and attack. That's about it starts with stock and cut or he doesn't yeah he starts with these three moves which is a good starter move for a level five defense buff usually for low levels weak debuffs are usually just as good as strong ones at low levels because the stats are just really low like what's a max like it just doesn't if you know anything about math which i'm struggling to explain a little bit right now and at low levels where stats are in the double digits like low double digits 20 10 stuff like that then like weak versus strong debuffs don't really do much like like uh, if you use one weak debuff the stat might look less than by like one or two points max only does like three <laughs> so usually just using a few weak ones is all you need to do cut and then the normal he's a very good balanced uh, beginner morty 
But then as you get up, he has uh, Claws Out as his strongest scissors mood, AAP. So it's pretty good, of course, AP wise. He's completely unviable, unviable for raids and for the pit. He's, he's gonna get eaten up. He's only really viable in like non meta PvP, but like if you've seen meta PvP, I'll show you that. He has a speed debuff, but. I'm gonna show you the meta scissors, which is season four, Morty. This guy. You might be noticing, like, Jesus Christ, those that's a, just I, lots of shit going on. His stats are meh. They're meh. Like, they're, they're high, sure, but they aren't really interesting. If you look, see the truth. Oh, yeah, my email. Wowzers. <laughs> Please don't dox me. Anyways, who knows? His, this guy wins solely because of status debuffs. People usually do see the truth, constrict, mock, and death crystal. Or they replace constrict with combustion. So season 4 gets more debuffs. But he doesn't do a lot of damage. 90, 80, it's only scissors. A 70% chance this will even hit. It's just, this dude doesn't have a lot of power. But what he does have is stalling. You use see the truth and you use death crystal, which are strong, which buffs defense and evade, which means enemies have a hard chance of hitting you, harder time, whatever you want to think about it. But and then constrict just paralyzes too. Mock is a hundred percent confirmed debuffs of all three of these stats. Use three times and enemies fully debuffed. Use this twice and you successfully get these buffed twice. You got max stats. Combustion buffs, uh, buffs your speed. One or two uses of this lets you outspeed unbuffed Gotrons. This dude isn't powerful. His moves are what's powerful. And like him versus a pale, he's just going to see the truth. The pale gets paralyzed, poisoned, and then the pale will hit, do a little, little bit of damage, maybe debuff. Then all the all this guy has to do is start using mock, which will lower his speed, which will make pale start going second. He goes first. He then buffs, does death evade, which can buff his defense and evade. So Pale have even harder time hitting him, along with how uh, Paralyze is activated. You'll also be able to start using Combust or just spamming See the Truth or waiting until 10 turns is up and Pale just dies of poison. Like, this guy doesn't win by dam like outputting much damage like Gotron. He wins because he uh, status debuffs you so much. I'm going to be showing you the last pvp meta in the game which is cubism which is a van exclusive yeah hayward's site is really fucked but he evolves when i'll show you art critic which is a van exclusive i'll make a video when this guy's out he evolves into cubism Fucking. people have uh theorized that struggling artists like if you look at his moves that knows how they look struggling artists was supposed to evolve into art critic because if you look they have the exact same moves the status goes up the stats go up the same is a new move just like uh what is it just like the other morty uh struggling artist this is the pvp this is the paper meta he's a uh, exclusive from summer's van he's the second van that comes out the first like the second van that ever happened first was art critic well, I'll be showing you, this guy does a mix of both Cubiz, no, this guy does a mix of Gotron and Season 4. As you notice, he has three, like his last three moves are all massive debuffs. Abstracted Form is the main one you want to go to. It paralyzes the enemy, does medium buffs for evade, defense, and attack, which is really good. And it has a 50% chance to paralyze the enemy. These are kind of low, but in actual use, they're pretty good. You get a defense buff is good enough. But is it art is also really good because look at this. Once you get one of a debuff, you can usually hit the rest of these for sure. Speed debuff, so you instantly go first. He also has piercing stare, which is just a very good paper move. One to two uses of that at one shots. Outpour is a neutral move, so it's just useful against everything. Some people like using Soul Search, so you get par uh, confirmed paralyzed with 100 power. Pretty decent, I suppose. And this guy can be used for raids in two ways. He has two paper moves, and you can just use Outpour as a third, so this is the attack buff. 
out four piercing stare race you'll do decent damage not the best there's betters but then you can use him as the debuffer your only debuffer because if you look he can fully debuff the raid boss by himself so this is his accuracy debuff this guy is just overall of the best paper uh, meta and if you look at uh, the other mortars we've looked at you'll see why he ranks the best i'll be giving you a few more examples of what good Mortys look like. This is Trover. You'll notice he has a normal attack buff. He has very powerful rock moves. So his raid moves have just uh, retain strength, suplex, snooze, and nail. And that's just his raid move set. He's the best uh, side attacker for raids. The best main is Gotron, like I showed you. For scissors, it's 40, which I'll be going to right now. He has a very power, he has a blood pressure, strong attack buff. He has bone breaker, which is a powerful scissors move, shave, and comb. However, some people recommend you replace comb with protect. And I'm pretty sure the squirm, like once you run out of AP, squirming will make up for the damage. Then we're going to look at the best. Scissors main, which is gunk. Yeah, I misspelled. You'd want to use bone extract, regenerate, aura, and clarity. If you notice, bone extract is like Trover. He has a lot of AP and a lot of power. That's why Trover does so well. He has a lot of high power, high AP moves. Regenerate, it's the regenerate, so it does a lot of damage and heals a lot. And then clarity is just clarity. It's, it's fine. But he does the best in uh, for scissors. I'm gonna be going to paper now. The best is Night Manager, which this guy's an anomaly. Anomaly. He has a lot of paper moves, but you have to use specific ones. Sail Strike buffs attack and defense. So not only does this guy get max attack, he also gets max defense, which means he can squirm after using all his AP, which gives even more damage. You'd want to use Leadership Lorat because it has 8 AP, not Stock Crash, it only has 5 AP, so you use Leadership. You, I believe it's Piercing Stare next because it has 8 AP. Then you'd want to use a Delegate because it has 15 AP and it out damages everything else. Those are moves for the max damage, Night Manager. And, okay, for Paper, there's a few of the best. Boy Band is one of them. You'd use Take That, Tally Ho dance off and hit the books hit the books does the most damage overall but actually does less damage in old boston if all the moves don't hit but usually buffing or debuffing the bosses of aid will make that better dance off is also a um, pretty mediocre uh regeneration it's not horrible but just so much better and it just this guy does around like 130k or so in raids however people often say queen morty is way better for raids and that's because, God, she, she does a lot. But she's also just a slow fatty. For her, you'd want Royal Propagative. I can't say that. You want to teach me in, uh, the description. Then you'd use Wicked uh, Fruit and uh, Death Stare. Then you'd use Beam. I know it's a neutral, but it, it does the most damage. And you'd, Royal proper blah, 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 is the only move that... Is the move you'd use to buff attack but you just notice how long this move is look it takes forever so this queen is a really slow bastard especially in raids and the wicked fruit has another status uh effect uh death stare and beam are the only ones who don't uh take that long but if you look at their her stats attack and defense are really high so you know what that means since she also buffs defense she can squirm a fuck ton, which does even more damage. Which is why she does like 200k plus in raids when used properly. She can also solo debuff the boss as well. And these are just the very top tiers. There's a bunch of mid tiers that you can learn so much about. I, I could go through them, but then I feel like I have to go through all of them. And this video would go from 10 minutes to 80 hours. And I don't think anyone wants to sit here and listen to me ramble for 8 hours. So this is just... Everything, uh, this is just a little quick guide to show you how you could tell which Mortys are good. I'll be going over Jerry Rick again because someone made a good point in my previous video. If you go to Jerry Rick, 
He has very good attack and defense. However, his HP and speed are actually the lowest in the game. The lowest in the game entirely. So, like, I still think Rake's situation as a level 1 mood is incredible. Like, it's going to do minimal damage, but it's either going to almost kill your opponent, or it's going to kill your opponent in, like, one run. Ignore the ADHD dog, but... It also looks incredible for raids. I've already gone for that over that in my other video, but this guy is very good in specific circumstances. But I believe you could make a make him used for non-meta PvP. But it, but his HP being just so horrible that it is, it's gonna be a real tough one. I'm gonna end the video here now.